Hi folks, Heartmaker44 here again. This is just a short video. I'd like to share a preservation technique for all metals. Uh, basically, it really works well for swords and firearms. It's a product called Fluid Film. I am not associated with them in any way, shape, or form. I make no money off of this. It's just a really good product. This is the spray can. Uh, less than ten dollars. Uh, it's available mail order from a number of places and most John Deere stores or distributors also sell it. If you use a whole lot of it, <laughs> it comes in a gallon can as well. The, uh, I bought this and it'll last me a lifetime. I also use this on the bottom of my mower deck to prevent uh, rust from grass accumulation. I don't clean it as often as I should. This is a Ziploc baggie. Inside of it is a just a cotton cloth. A cotton square. I think I got this at a dollar store. Uh, it is a little bit dirty there because I've been using it. I use this to clean my sword. The, the way you prepare this is just a cotton, cotton cloth. Uh, you apply the fluid film, um, probably the easiest uh, form you'll find it in is the spray can. Almost all John Deere distributors or stores sell that. You spray it on, it foams up a little bit, uh, wait for it to soak into the, the uh, cloth. You don't want it dripping, but you do want it saturated. Uh, fluid film is a lanolin-based protectant. It's a water-displacing oil, which means it will actually penetrate through existing light rust to get to the, the metal underneath and protect it from further oxidation. Uh, it, it's amazing stuff. They have uh, a website, trifluidfilm.com. I'm not sure if that's it or not, for further information. This is a katana I got from Sword and Armory. It was the, uh, I believe, the Dragon Katana. I'd have to get the uh, look on the invoice to get the actual model number. The, the way that you clean is simply draw the sword out. Let me set the side down. Take your rag, your, soap, your uh, fluid filled soap rag, and just grab the back of the blade wrap the material around the, the body of the blade and go up. And you can pinch it pretty hard. This stuff, uh, it actually sticks to the metal. It's uh, almost a, it's a molecular attraction. You would have to take something like uh, a, a petroleum-based cleaner to actually get this off. Just wipe it, wiping it with a uh, uh, a dry towel wouldn't do it. Good stuff. When you get down to the edge, be very careful, especially when the edge is toward you, because this, these swords are sharp. They are amazingly sharp. The you don't uh, you can even you can put uh, some food film. Uh, down around the, the base of the handle here. Sorry, I forget the Japanese term. Uh, you don't want much. And that co that's why you don't just spray the sword body with the fluid film. Uh, you could do that, but it would put too much on the blade. Make sure you touch the blade over its entire surface, including the so-called blood groove. I believe that's the bohi in uh, Japanese, which does not mean blood groove. It has nothing to do with blood. 
and be particular, particularly careful about the point. You want to, because that seems to be where it wears off uh, the fastest. But that's it. You can do the same thing to your firearms, uh, your any steel or iron tools you may have, and it is a very, very good rust preventative. It does have a slight odor. Um, if you've ever smelled lanolin, it is a lanolin-based protectant, uh, which is a naturally occurring product from uh, cheap wool. Sorry for the car noise. Can't prevent it. Uh, that's it, folks. It's just a short video on how to maintain your sword. These swords, most of the swords, um, <laughs> if it's stainless steel, you wouldn't be using it in a real uh, tamishigiri or cutting operation anyway. So this does not apply to stainless. But for your, your 1045, 1055, your, all of your 10 series of uh, carbon steels are very, very liable to rust if not protected. Uh, this will do the job. Thanks for listening, folks. Catch you later.